Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro. In this Minecraft shader tutorial, it's time I taught you how to create graphics preset profiles for any shader of your choice. Like these right here, if you were wondering. It's useful to be able to switch between graphics preset profiles by the press of a button for the purpose of gaining more FPS, by enabling low settings, or by making the game look the best it possibly can through using the extreme settings, as I'm sure you're well aware. So let's get started right away. Navigate to and open the shader.properties for whatever shader you are using. When it comes to creating graphics preset profiles, your workspace is indeed the shader.properties. Yes, we have returned to this sacred space yet again. If this is your first time seeing this code file and you want to learn more about it before you dive into this lesson, then do check out my tutorial on understanding the shader.properties. Now, for most shaders packs, excluding the Chocobic 13 V8 Ultra, which is what I'm using for this tutorial, you will be in the presence of some graphics preset profiles already previously set up by the shader developer. Well, in this case, for Chocofic, there aren't any graphics profiles set up to begin with. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to teach you from scratch everything you need to know. First, let's get the profile selector up and running in the first page of the shader options menu for the Chocofic 13 V8 Ultra Shader. Within the screen equals line of code, I'm going to set up a profile surrounded by less than and greater than signs. This text allows the profile selector to exist. And since I put it at the very beginning of all the text within the screen equals group, that tab will be first, as you'll see. Also for my preference, I'm going to add three empty texts surrounded by less than and greater than signs as well. This will create blank space directly following the profile selector which will set it aside from the rest of the tabs. If you were to save and check this out in Minecraft, you'll find that the blank space has been created via the empty texts, but the graphics preset profile selector will not be present. The reason being, I haven't set up a single profile yet. Let me fix that. For myself, I'll find a few blank lines and type out my chosen names. Profile.low equals, profile.medium equals, Profile.high equals, Profile.ultra equals, Profile.extreme equals. For creating graphics preset profiles, you have your profile dot, followed by your chosen name for the preset, equals. My friends, you don't have to use these standard names if you don't want to. And to show that this is the case, I'm going to add in one more called, Oh, I know what the ladies like. Now wait, uh, how'd that get there? How about... Am I right, Marines? Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, I needed to use underscores instead of spaces when it came to typing out that masterpiece of a preset name. Fair enough, it is true that I am unable to use spaces. But I'm not calling it quits here. I want all these profile names to be more presentable. Therefore, I would use the en underscore us lang to achieve my goal. Well, in the case of the V8 Ultra that I'm using, there is no en underscore us dot lang. No lang folder, no dot lang file, nothing. Dang, well, that's it, huh? Game over, man, game over. Nah, I'm kidding, I'll make one myself. There's no special trick to this. I'm just creating a folder called lang, copying over an existing code file, deleting all its code, changing its name instead to en underscore us, and making it identify as a language file by adding dot lang to the end. Alrighty, good to go. Within the newly created code file, I'm going to copy over the profile's code that I created in the shader.properties, like so. After the equal sign, the names that I want can be added in. Low settings, medium settings, high settings, ultra settings, extreme settings. Am I right, Marines? Alrighty, let's see all this in Minecraft. Be sure that both the en underscore us .lang and shader.properties are saved. Refresh the shader and you'll see the fruits of this struggle. We now have graphics preset profiles for low settings all the way up to am I right marines settings set up in the Chocovic shader. Awesome. Now for the next section of this tutorial, let me teach you how to tie specific graphics settings to each graphics preset profile. To start with, focus your eyes on the profile.low equals line of code. Okay, 
Before we begin typing away, there is a huge bit of advice that you absolutely should know. Right now, I'm rather convinced that the greatest difficulty you are up against is knowing the exact type of code that you would need for use with the shader dot properties. Well, in my case, since I'm using the V8 Ultra, all the code I need is quite literally right in front of me. Let me show you. Let's say for the Chocovic 13 V8 Ultra shader, I wanted to set the wavy underscore speed setting in the wavy underscore stuff menu to be 4.0 when the low settings preset is selected. What code would I need to write in the shader dot properties in order to change this setting in game? Simple. I'd write wavy underscore speed equals 4.0. Wavy underscore speed was copied exactly straight from Minecraft. In truth, all the text that you see in the Chocobic shader is the original code because there was never an en underscore us dot lang set up to update the names to something more presentable. So in my case, I'm already very well aware of the code I need, should I wish to add any of these to the low settings preset. What if I wanted flicker underscore reduction to be 1.0 when the low settings preset is selected? I'd again copy what I see and add in the value I want after the equal sign. So yes, flicker underscore reduction equals 1.0. Pretty easy. But hey, if you're using a shader that clearly has more presentable text, with spaces and all, Something like the SUS Renewed V1.0.1 is a good example of this. In this case, the text you see is not the original code, but instead, text that has been set up via the en underscore us dot lang for more presentability, and you've seen examples of this already when I set up new names for the graphics preset profiles. In cases like these, simply open up the en underscore us dot lang and search for the code you see in the shader options menu. If I searched for tone mapping curve, I'd find that the original code is in all caps, tone map underscore curve. So yes, in summary, if you believe you are in the presence of the original code, judging by the underscores and all caps provided, then there's a good likelihood that you can use that text for the shader dot properties. If you have spaces with the names, then it's likely you have to dive into the en underscore us dot lang to know what the original code is. This was a pretty big piece of advice for me to explain, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Now then, with that explanation aside, I can move on to explaining another important detail. When it came to numbers I selected for the wavy underscore speed and flicker underscore reduction in the shader dot properties for the V8 Ultra, I didn't just pull those numbers out of my butt. 4.0 is a number present in the wavy underscore speed setting just as 1.0 is a number present in the flicker underscore reduction setting. If I was to add in a number that wasn't present in the list of choices, like 2.0 for the flicker underscore reduction, then it simply wouldn't work. Understand that when you choose, for example, low settings in the graphics preset profiles, the shader is very quickly updating all the settings for you, just as if you were to do it. Just as you can't change flicker underscore reduction to 2.0, neither can the shader. The graphics preset profiles effectively only update existing settings in the shader options menu. Again, just as if you were to do it. No code is ever changed anywhere. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Now, let's say you wanted to code in that 2.0 as a choice for the flicker setting. Well, I have a tutorial on explaining the fundamentals of doing just that. Click on the card above to check it out. Okay, let's move on. You've seen me adding code like wavy underscore speed equals 4.0 and flicker underscore reduction equals 1.0. These are examples of code that take a number, and that number makes the code do something different. 4.0 equals faster waving speed. 1.0 equals reduced flickering. Pretty cool. I can add any number I want for these, provided the number is also something I can select in the shader options menu. How this goes is the original code equals then the number you want to have the profile select. There are also other types of code that don't take numbers and that are simply on or off. DAA, which is temporal anti-aliasing, as you can see in Minecraft, is an example of this. For my low settings profile, I want TAA off. So I type in exclamation mark TAA. The exclamation mark placed before the original code will be activated. Now on the flip side, Let's say I want TAA back on for my medium settings preset. Well, I would simply type in TAA without an exclamation mark. We'll do one more example. 
I want plants to not wave when the low settings preset is selected and to wave when medium is selected. So I first find the code I want, which is wavy underscore plants in the wavy underscore stuff menu. And then I type into the shader dot properties, exclamation mark wavy underscore plants for the low settings and wavy underscore plants for the medium settings. Good to go. Okay, by this point, you've been taught how to locate code that you may want in the shader options menu using the en underscore us dot lang if need be. You've been informed that changing a graphics preset profile from low to medium, for example, is basically just you going through and making the adjustments yourself, but it's much faster. And you are unable to add in numbers to profiles that aren't already present in the shader options menu. You were also taught about code that requires a number after the equal sign and code that is either with an exclamation mark, disabling it, or without, where the effect is always on. Awesome. Now for the final thing I'd like to teach you. Let's skip over to the profile.m underscore i underscore right underscore marines equals in the shader dot properties. When you're creating a custom graphics preset profile, you're likely going to want to base your settings off an existing profile made by the shader developer so that you don't have to start entirely from scratch. For myself, I want to base my Am I Right Marines settings on the low settings, just for the fun of it. I could simply copy and paste over all the code following the equal sign in the profile.low equals group. That would allow me to start off with all the settings I'd want. But hey, there is a far better way to do this that doesn't require all this code. I'm going to call profile.low after the equals of my Am I Right Marines group. I'm able to do this and get the exact same result. The reason why has to do with the equal sign, or at the very least, it's only that in name. Profile.low is not equal to what follows. Two equals two, one equals one, n equals n. Those examples are equal to each other because they're the same on both sides. In coding, we aren't dealing with that kind of an equal sign. If you follow Khan Academy, I've heard them call it a get sign. What comes after the equal sign, right side, is what is getting stored in what is on the left side. Profile.low is effectively getting all the information that comes after the equal sign. And since that storage has already been defined above my Am I Right Marines profile, I'm able to call profile.low, and the shader will know that I want all the settings in the profile.low equals group. Pretty cool, huh? Here are some examples of this in Sonic Ether's Seuss V11 shader. For the high profile, Sonic Ether called profile.medium and got effectively started out with all the medium settings, then pushed on with his high settings. For his ultra profile, he called profile.high, which brought over all the information it stored, including what was brought over previously with profile.medium. For his extreme profile, he called profile.ultra, and I'm sure you understand the rest. If not, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do to help. My friends, thank you for joining me on this extremely detailed tutorial on teaching you how to create graphics preset profiles for any shader in Minecraft. Definitely let me know if this was useful to you. And hey, if you thought this video was great, then do stay tuned for next Friday where I'll be discussing the purpose behind something called the Miscellaneous tab, or M-I-S-C, MISC, in the shader.properties its use and how it's made, to be discussed. It's pretty interesting, you won't want to miss it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Minecraft Shader tutorial. If you appreciate my work and want to support me financially, then consider supporting me on Patreon. If you want your name up top like so, then supporting me on any of my Patreon tiers will get you that honor. Thanks guys! More Minecraft Shader tutorials are on the way, coming every week Friday. So if you don't want to miss those, then do hit that subscribe button, it's free! If you have any suggestions for future videos, then let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alrighty, see you guys!